Hi guys, this is me, Osama Gaza. Welcome to another tutorial. And in today's video, we will see how to use this new software uh, released by Adobe. It's called Rush. And it's mainly geared towards those who are interested in just, you know, cutting a few clips together and sharing it on Instagram or Facebook. So it's a really great tool, very simple and intuitive for those who don't really care about getting in depth in video editing but still need to edit their videos whether it's like a marketing video or just something that you really want to share with your friends on instagram and if you're an imovie user i mean i guess after this tutorial you will absolutely take the decision to ditch it and start using rush instead so tune in and let's get it started Alright guys, so these are a few videos and clips that I edited before in Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. So I'm just going to be showing you how easy it is to organize these clips here. Let's say that I want to uh, remove it. So hit delete and things will snap automatically together. So you don't have to remove or rearrange anything. And if you want to rearrange that and move it back to the end of your sequence, you can see that the rest of the clips keep snapping together in order to create a new sequence all right so uh, that's a very easy one so let's say that you want to correct the colors of this clip so you can go to this icon over here the three overlapping circles click it and you have these uh, preset filters created by adobe so you can just choose it and voila that's all you need so if you're actually seeking that kind of vintage warm look you can use this cinematic presets or film presets and you can change the intensity by dragging this slider down here and if you want to gain more control you can always go to edit and um, adjust the exposure the contrast uh, the highlights shadows like pretty much everything you have in adobe premiere pro or even lightroom this is pretty much this is uh, like the interface and everything in this software reminds me more of lightroom but imagine that we have now lightroom for videos all right guys another feature is the text field over here so you can basically drag and drop let's just give it time it kind of stuck because my computer is like really slow all right so you have all these options here if you wanted to add title in the beginning or uh, at the end of your video so you, all you need to do is just drag and drop and place it like in whatever you want then go to edit and just let me move the cursor here you have the first and the second line so go to the first line change it to Osama Gazel my name and go to the second line and once you click it it gets highlighted automatically and let's call this premiere rush and of course you have like all the options just make sure that you're highlighting your line and you can increase or decrease the size if you want to use the slider the colors change the style of your font or use any font you already have in your computer all right, and the last thing here in this panel is the cuts and uh, transitions. You can use like, this is pretty much one of the setbacks in a, in a new Premiere Rush uh, software. But again, guys, this is not made for complex kind of um, cuts and transitions. If you want to get into that, you can just use Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects. But here they give you just, you know, like a few basic kind of cuts to jump from clip to another. So let's say that I want to uh, place a cut between these two clips. So I'm gonna drag and drop it in here and it creates the cut already and it's a very basic cross dissolve transition. So let's go. So it's pretty easy and it doesn't require a lot of effort to understand. And if you wanted to expand it, you can just drag it like this and vice versa. All right, and also what you can do, if you want to see everything you have here and it, it's kind of like you know thumbnails here are, are a little bit small and you, you need to see like the original clips that you imported into your project so you can go here to this icon and click it then you can see all your clips and media files that you imported to your software all right so now you have all these presets social media presets if you wanted to export your instagram you can just activate it and after you do hit export and voila you're good to go uh, Project Rush is a great choice for you just to get everything done automatically and to get rid of that hassle that comes with a process so you're focusing your entire energy on your creativity and let it do the job for you. 
All right, guys, so here comes the best feature in a new Rush project by Adobe, in my opinion, is the mobile app. So first of all, everything you do in Project Rush is saved in the cloud. So you don't have to, even if you forgot to save the files to your computer, everything is saved in the cloud so you can always access it. And the best feature, in my opinion, is the mobile app. So once you saved our project, go to the app and go to your video. And once you do so, you have everything here as we did before. So if I wanted to, let's say, color this video, I just can go and check any preset that I want, or just let's go back to none. If you wanted to add a, a new title, you can just go to where you want to place it and hit the icon, drag or double click it, and it will be added and it goes directly to edit and adjust your lines and hit play. All right, and after you do so, guys, there is another feature in the mobile app. So you can go to this icon over here and you can adjust the display of your video. Just check how it looks like on a square. If you want it to export to Instagram and portrait, if you just wanted to export it to your um, Instagram story. So a lot of features. It's very cool, very basic and super easy for everyone to use. And after you do so, you can always go to this share an icon on top of the screen and hit it and you're ready to go. Just adjust the quality if you want, then hit export and you're done. That's basically everything I wanted to share with you guys about the new Project Crush by Adobe. It's very helpful and really comes in handy when it comes to quick uh, videos and quick posting or regular posting on Instagram or Facebook. So much better than uh, iMovie. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and informative. Uh, I will be looking forward to seeing your comments and thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you for watching and see you next time.